the, there was a, uh, at least a mechanism now with the media coverage of these massacre to uh, hopefully make the administration see the light that Af Afghanistan is a losing cause. Well, today I had a, an article that was posted by a Facebook friend by Nima Shirazi recalling Peggy Noonan's speech. Uh, Peggy Noonan was the speechwriter for Reagan, and she uh, wrote back in Fallujah when the, the Blackwater contractors were murdered how barbaric this was, and these weren't really people, these were barbarians, and our troops would, would have to uh, uh, seek vengeance. So now that it's our troops that uh, are more and more committing the massacres, we don't hear so much from Peggy Noonan anymore. Um, but the, the people who are propagandizing that have created these wars are people like that, like Peggy Noonan, sitting in her comfortable armchair, and they've caused this problem. They've caused all these atrocities. They, they should be held just as responsible at, you know, as the propagandists for the hate and fear. We're seeing the same thing happen with Iran. Uh, we now have a majority of people in the United States. The polls tell us that would sooner uh, the United States attack Iran, uh, and they, they 70 percent of the country believes that Iran has a nuclear bomb, which is complete propaganda. It's a complete false fiction. But 70 percent of the country believes it. And why is that the case? Because of propaganda in the ma mainstream media, uh, which is a very sad. The, the troops, of course, are duped into believing these things. After they've served two or three tours, they see the light. They want to get out of it. Many of them commit suicide. Uh, we have a veteran committing suicide every 80 minutes in the country right now. 900 attempt suicide each month. And suicidal and homicidal violence are a natural byproduct of the wars. Iran, the, the, the conservative estimate is it will be three times as catastrophic as the war in, in Iraq. That's the conservative estimate. I mean, our generals are the ones right now who are putting the, the brakes on. They've tried at least. But what will happen is if Israel attacks, today's, yesterday's Haaretz newspaper says Bibi prepares Israeli public for attack on Iran. So if he, Netanyahu decides to attack, the problem will be that Obama will feel forced through political pressure. Uh, we have almost our entire Congress now that have signed these resolutions to back Israel. So we're going to get to the same position.